Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Lucinda M. Kerrigan, that's me here in Southern Illinois. And welcome to my new subscriber, how you guys doing? Oh my goodness, I'm so happy I'm getting more subscribers after all these years. I'm so tickled, I'm tickled pink, but I'm wearing black, it made you laugh. Today, I have special delivery, I ordered some more by popular demand, spiritual materials i found this pastor on youtube guys david jeremiah have you heard of him i have never heard of him his message i didn't get to hear the whole video yet or like a whole sermon but he sounds really really good like up my alley he's like sounds similar to joel olstein but a little different you know so i ordered a book for a small donation not bad. It said any amount. So all I could give was a dollar because I'm not being petty. I was just, I'm low on money, guys. Seriously, it's not funny. I made you laugh, though, because I've been thinking about starting a series or at least a couple videos about talking about people being petty and stuff. And we're all petty now and then, but sometimes we have to be petty to get by, <laughs> especially these days. But I'm going to open these up and share these with you. I just got a text from an investment thing. I I do stocks and bonds once in a while. Um, invest, try to make a little money, but I never really do. End up losing money, so. Okay, how do you open this? Someone explain. Tear here for product. <laughs> Where exactly, like on this line or this line? There's like two lines. Is something crawling on me? Felt like there was a bug. But they're based out of San Diego, California. S San Diego? I don't say that right. But my funky accent, like I was saying in another video, my mixed accent, because I'm from different places um, over the years, it's transformed. <laughs> my accent has transformed. I'll say it that way, but... I'm in a better mood today than I was yesterday. Oh, no, this is like tearing it. Did I tear the wrong part? Am I tearing the wrong part? Okay, good. I'm getting it right. Now, one's a booklet, and I think the other's a book. I said, I think. We'll see what this is. Just throw that. I need to throw that in the trash. Uh-oh, my cat wants to play with it. No, Tigger, you're not getting it. Oh, my goodness. He plays with every little thing. I don't have to buy him toys because he's amused by every little thing. Okay, guys, this is what it looks like inside. It's just a book, a small book. but And if you want one of these, um, I will leave the link. And he's sniffing my shoe. What do you want, Tig? Another dance? I don't... I danced with them earlier to shake it off by Taylor Swift. He was loving it. I forgot to tell my friend that. Melissa, if you're watching, I know you probably are. Um, not only did we talk about things that are petty, I forgot to mention I danced with Tigger today. <laughs> Had my moment with Tigger for about 30 seconds to shake it off by Taylor Swift. I was dancing with holding Tigger and we were kind of like dancing and stuff. He was meowing and having a good time. But this is your greatest turning point. I love when I learn about a new ministry. I will get as much as I can from them. Not run them dry. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm going to get a few things and read them to you guys. Because um, one of my new subscribers on here, um, a lady... Hi, hon. I forgot your first name. I'm sorry. Um, but you had made a comment on one of my, la my last spiritual video that you liked that kind of thing. I, it, it seemed like you liked it because you said amen, and I appreciate that. That's what got me thinking the other night when I saw this. Is, this came fast. Gosh, just media mail, like... Is faster than first class. This came USPS media mail. Um, wonder if my FedEx package came. 
But how do I get the rest of this open? Like, do I have something? Bottle opener, something sharp. Okay, what is this? What is this? Looks like a something sharp. I just need something sharp, guys, to, like, open the plastic off of it. I don't know if you can see it, but there's, like, plastic around it. Oh, my gosh. I'll be right back, guys. The cat just knocked the trash can over on the floor. Okay, guys, I'm back. I am so sorry, my cat. It took me a few minutes or so to clean that up. It was a bad mess, and I'm trying to get this open. Oh, this is three pamphlets. Want to emphasize that? Maybe this is not the right thing to use. Uh, I don't know if this is going to open it. Just need to tear the plastic a little bit just so I can then remove it. I just use my hands. Maybe the hands will work better somehow. Like my fingernail, get it right at that edge at the top of the corner of the plastic and kind of, I don't have really any nails. I have to keep my nails short. My doctor makes me keep them short because I pick. I'm a picker is what sometimes I'm called. But I don't want to destroy this, but I'm trying to get this open. This is like a bottle opener type thing I'm using. Okay, I kind of got that in between one of the booklets. Don't want to damage it though. I, thought, I think I got it now. Yeah, finally got it. <laughs> Thanks for your patience. Uh, you know, it's been a rough couple days my friend knows my friend my best friend knows hold on a second guys I'm throwing this away Tigger knows better than what he did he knocked it over earlier and I should have just got the trash bag out then and there because I had a feeling he was going to knock it over again try to look for food or whatever but this says your greatest turning point for the past 41 years of ministry your greatest turning point has been turning points paramount evangelism resource when someone first hears the gospel through a turning point radio television or digital outreach we try to get this free booklet into their hands as quickly as possible your greatest turning point was carefully crafted to help those seeking answers to discover more about God's love and the relationship he longs to have with each one of us. Hold on a second, guys. Something was on my bed and I just flicked it off. Wasn't sure what it was. Probably a spider. We got spiders in here. Um, he longs to have with each one of us and to lead a person through the steps to receive God's free gift of salvation and begin a relationship with them. Over the years, we have been blessed to put this booklet into the hands of 644 plus thousand people. And now it's your turn to help us reach others with the good news in a simple and practical way. You're holding three copies of your greatest turning point. Newly redesigned to continue reaching souls for Christ. Feel free to keep one book one booklet for yourself but we ask that you find at least two people with whom to share the other two okay i have an idea of three people actually after i read one i'll pass it to my fiance husband whatever you want to call him at this point because i'm upset with them right now but um, he probably won't read it anyway. So it would end up being messed up. And I don't want to do that. So 
I already know the lucky two people. Um, I won't name their names. I'll keep it private. Now, both of them might still be subscribers on this channel. I'm not sure about the one lady. But, um, because she didn't talk to me for like a few months. And I just heard from her recently. And she's now got a brain tumor. Um, I'll talk about that in another video because I want to share her GoFundMe page. She needs a little help, guys. Okay, I'll say her first name, but not her last name to keep it private. Her name's April. So, uh, I've told my other friend about her. And so, my two friends, I will mail a copy of them, of this to them. Now, with media rate, I was thinking, how much does that cost these days? I may have to wait till um, my next paycheck. But I want to keep one for me. And yes, I will pass the other two to either mailing them to my two long distant friends. Um, one's in Indiana and one's in Arizona. Or um, two local people who I feel um, need to read it. I would give it to my client, but he's not really a reader. He doesn't like reading. He's already told me like he has trouble with that. Um, that's why he has me do all this secretarial stuff and technical stuff because he has trouble with that stuff. So, um, probably won't give it to him. He's only got like a 10th grade education. Bless his heart. He has trouble with reading and simple stuff. But this is just a 16 page um, pamphlet or booklet. And yeah, I am happy. And um, did I read this part at the end? I'm sorry if I didn't at the end of the card that came with it. Please don't join, join. <laughs> if I can speak today, that would help. I've had to do a lot of retakes on my videos today. I'm just, I had two panic attacks yesterday, everyone. I'm going through what's called a brain reset. When your mind is being reset back to a more normal way, every day of thinking, uh, you can get headaches. Um, and you got to take your anxiety medicine as prescribed because the headaches are caused by like racing thoughts and all that kind of stuff. So, um, as a YouTube creator, my mind sometimes goes million directions because I'm coming up with a lot of ideas of brainstorming ideas for content from you guys. But this says, please join Dr. Jeremiah in Turning Point and help someone you know discover their greatest, their own greatest turning point. So maybe this is your turning point. Maybe I should put, um, not all three of them, because not to be selfish, I do want to read one of them. But at some point, I could like, I can't keep stuff here because there's no space. If I showed you this place, you'd be like, uh-uh, you got to keep decluttering. And I do as much as I can. But when I have a lot going on, I can't do a lot. Um, when, I'm, when I'm busy either filming videos or working on my computer or other stuff I'm doing, I don't have much time of the day. And tomorrow I have a merchandising job I've got to do. Um... I can't film in there, guys. Like, they got rules and stuff. When I'm a merchandiser, I'm under, like, the policies of being a vendor, a third-party vendor. And I think one of them is not to record video. Uh, don't think they would look kindly upon that, so I can't show you what I'm doing. Um, but it's just restocking some cards on a shelf, prepaid Visa or MasterCards. I don't know if it's visa or master or both or what shit is i think they're both visas um not sure i haven't got 
I haven't done one of these jobs in like a year because I was really sick last year. But yeah, I look forward to reading more out of this for you guys if you're interested. Because I know not all of you will be able to receive one unless you go on their website and you can request three booklets of the same one yourself. That's what it looks like. For, and you can do as like the lowest I did was a dollar because I'm very low in my bank account right now. I had like about five bucks in my bank account. So that's why I only did a dollar because um, I'm stretching out my money because I needed to pay a dollar just for a therapist appointment. They want to pre-authorize because they're in trouble with my insurance. Um, oh, we got the other one to do. Okay. Now let me get the other package and we're going to open that too. But I'm a little chatty today, so I'll have to be faster on the second one. Hold on, guys. Give me a moment to grab it. Forgot that I had the second one till I looked on the bed and I'm like, wait a minute, I've got two here. I'm just going to rip this puppy as hard as I, quick as I can. Because time's ticking on my video. I see that. I don't want to make a little long video. I try to talk faster through this. Wow, this is beautiful. Look at the inside of that. That looks gorgeous when you open it. Throw the cardboard away. Hold on, guys. Don't don't click away yet. Hold on, I'm trying to get it in the trash can. Well, that mailer is strange to get a cardboard one like that. I have not gotten a cardboard mailer in like a long time. But it's a little damaged. Like the jacket cover is a little damaged. Oh no, the dust jacket. Look at that. Look, it's like, I don't know how this happened. Oh my gosh. How do I fix that? Does anyone know? Just slide it down a little bit. Okay. It's a book by Dare. Can I talk today? No, I told you my mind's resetting. David Jeremiah. Um, the God you may not know. Thank you, Dr. Doctor. He might be. Thank you, David Jeremiah, for sending me your materials. And thank you, Turning Point, all the way in California, for sending your booklets to me and your book. I'm going to start reading this. Um, this is a sign from God that God is trying to get too closer to me, you know? Like, it's fine to read the Bible and stuff, but it doesn't hurt to read other literature by pastors and things. Like Joyce Meyer, Joe Olstein, to name a few, have a lot of great books that I've enjoyed over the years. But when you find someone new, it's exciting. Like, I'm excited. Sorry, you can't see all of me in the video. Like, I had to sit forward in the chair a little bit. But yeah, this is called The God You May Not Know. Take the journey from knowing about God to knowing God. Oh my gosh, this is going to be like eye-opening, I bet. I'll just read the back to you guys real briefly here to get an idea. And I want to get a quick idea of myself of what this is, book's about. Let's see how many pages it is. Wow, this is like a hardcover book. And for only a dollar, this is worth more than that. Hey, if I had more guys, I would have given like 20 bucks. Because this is worth something. I mean, of course, his work is worth something. I'm an author myself, so that's why I can say that. I have two books on Amazon, by the way. Check them out. You can just search my name, Lucinda Marie Kerrigan. Um, my books are called The Poetry Collection of Lucinda Kerrigan. By Lucinda Marie Kerrigan. I put my middle name in my author name. I don't know why. But anyway, because there's another Lucinda Kerrigan out there. Um, volumes 1 and 2. It's a series, so check it out. Volume 3 coming out soon. But this is 258 pages. So this is going to take me a good minute to read. Okay. 
but this got frayed on the bottom like a little bit. I'm gonna like put this inside of a plastic bag so bugs won't get into it. Yes, there's bugs in here. They've always been in here. Um, I don't want to say what kind of bugs, but I don't want this book to get messed up. I want to keep this in my special um, bag inside my big purse. I'll show it to you one day. It's a big purse. Like, dang. Like, it's a big. You know, Fluffy the comedian, Gabriel Iglesias says, dang. Like that. It's like that. It's a big, real big purse. It's like a travel size purse. Like, you would take it to. Um, uh, on a trip somewhere, you know what I mean? It's one of them b real big purses, but it's what it says on the back. I'll read this real quick since I'm getting chatty and I knew I would. The God you may not know. According to the Bible, God is unsearchable, yet he is not know unknowable. Some say the greatest question in life is, does God exist? I say the greatest question is, do I know the God who does exist? Do I know about him? And do I know him personally? Nothing is more critical to your life right now. Our personalities inevitably conform to our gods. When we worship inferior versions, we become like our idols. But when we worship the ultimate creator of scripture, we discover a lifetime of personal growth and praise. The study of God as revealed in scripture is the supreme study of a lifetime. It lifts our thoughts, steadies our nerves, purifies our motives expands our confidence and strengthens our influence. It's the greatest subject we could ever study, for God is the apex of all reality. One of the reasons we don't love God as much as we should is because we don't know him as well as we thought, or ought, says, sorry. Trying to comprehend the person of God is like trying to capture all the galaxies of the universe in a child's prism. Yet the Bible encourages us to try, for God seeks to be known. In this book, I want to personally introduce you to the God you may not know, to his knowledge, holiness, all-pervasive presence, unlimited power, love, and the other qualities that make him who he is. Knowing our eternal God changes our daily lives, and he is well worth knowing, for he is... For he alone is worthy of all praise. Amen. And if you do that, there you go. So I got the book and I got the three pamphlets to keep one for myself and two to pass out to friends. Um, like to get more of them actually because I've got more than a few friends that I know especially people in my local community that need need to hear the good news. And that's all for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. And take care of yourselves and each other because we all need someone. And thanks for watching. Have a great evening.